everybody, I'm Ken Bauman, and I'm answering your questions uh, for the CCFA and what will be their first uh, Facebook Q&A series. And um, they receive questions from patients that they treat on Twitter and Facebook, and I have a few of these questions now that I'm going to answer. So from Twitter, Lee Ford, which uh, her handle is at Flame Goddess Lee, pretty sweet, asked, I would ask if stress of performing makes it worse. I'm a Paralympics athlete, and I know that tournaments work in my system. You know, so far, stress is sort of a tricky thing. I'm not sure how much stress impacts how I feel with my guts. Um, I know that certainly it exacerbates everything else, and so certainly, you know, stress doesn't set you up to feel well. But I'm not sure that like high stress situations immediately affect you know pain in my guts. But at the same time, I've also been in remission since surgery, so I haven't had a lot of time where I'm experiencing a lot of daily pain and, and struggling to get back into remission. So I've only had one big major flare up, and that kind of came out of the blue and wasn't really related to anything like stress wise in my life. Um, at Tiana Wilson asked. I have Crohn's disease and I know how hard it is to go into a stressful situation and not expect a flare-up. How do you handle all the things you do without fear of a flare? And, you know, so far, like I said, since surgery and since I've uh, began uh, taking Simji, I've been in remission. Um, but I would say that, honestly, I do have a little fear about flaring up again. but. Not so much that it sort of overwhelms me or, or paralyzes me or makes me feel really anxious. It just, I feel like it's healthy fear. And the way that fear is sort of the, you know, the biological warning sign, I'm, I make sure to listen to it and, you know, let, let the fear inform how I eat or, you know, not drinking or, you know, not putting myself in any situations where I will get really stressed out just for fear of flaring up again. And I feel like that's that's possibly a good thing, having a, that little bit of healthy fear, but not letting it override and, you know, make you feel really anxious and uncomfortable and, you know, deeply afraid. Um, on Facebook, Liz Stark asked, how did your fellow cast members react when you told them you have Crohn's? I didn't really tell them until I was in the hospital. And uh, so they were pretty freaked out because I was in surgery and in pretty bad shape. Um, and then when I saw them in person, I had a chance to explain what I had been through and what the doctors had said, my diagnosis, and treatment, and so on and so forth. But for the most part, everybody was just really worried when I was in the hospital and when they didn't really know what was going on. Um, but then once I made it out and got back to work, everybody was incredibly supportive and curious and you know, some of my cast members were a little freaked out until I sort of explained what the disease was and, you know, what sort of the worst of the worst could be or the best of the best. And then I felt like then they sort of got comfortable with it and, and just felt like, okay, he's dealing with it. And so I have to too. Brittany Hunter asked, how do you think Crohn's has affected you and those around you? And, you know, that's a big question. I, I would say definitely um, it's made me obviously pay attention to my body in a way that like I was just young and felt like I didn't need to pay any attention to my body whatsoever because it was functioning and you know I didn't need to take care of myself that much and now I definitely feel like I can't get away with that anymore which is a good thing I feel like to pay attention to your body <laughs> and um, and then I think those around me my family my wife who's recording this right now very well um, I think everybody was, you know, pretty scared because it all came on pretty fast. But once we sort of got a, a you know, got a handle on the situation and, and um, the medication started working and I was in remission, I think that everybody's now just watching out for me more so than they were before, which, again, that helps. You know, it helps to have people around you who are making sure that you don't make any mistakes that'll make it unhealthy. And you certainly don't, as I say that to my wonderful videographer here. Um, Jessica Reed said, when were you diagnosed and how is your IBD currently treated? After five years, Remicade infusions have really made a difference for me. Prayers to you and all those who suffer with IBD. Thank you, Jessica. Um, I was diagnosed about, I want to say, seven months ago, six, seven months ago. And, um, 
Um, I am currently treated, I take Simsia once monthly. I shoot it in my thighs. It comes in a little pre-filled syringe. And um, yeah, I was diagnosed basically while I was hospitalized. I, I presented really hard, really fast with a bunch of complications and had a fever and an abscess and all sorts of stuff. And so I was in the hospital getting a small bowel resection within two, you know, about a month of experiencing symptoms. And, uh, and so far since the surgery and the Simsia, I've been in remission. So again, I'm pretty new to the disease. I definitely, like I said, presented on the severe side and um, apparently the pathology of, of my Crohn's is really severe, but hence taking a biologic and all that. But um, yeah, I'm new. I'm relatively new. Gail Katz asked, or said, tell us everything, what you eat, how about your bathroom worries, etc., etc., please. Um, I eat so far, not, I wouldn't say everything. I certainly don't, I haven't eaten fast food in, you know, 10 years. I haven't eaten, like, I don't eat really, really bad stuff. I generally try to eat high quality ingredients and organic stuff and, you know, free-range chicken and eggs and, you know, grass-fed beef and all of that. But for the most part, I still eat carbohydrates, and my diet has, hasn't has changed much. I stay away from fried food, I don't drink at all, and I do not overeat. I used to overeat a lot because why not? I was skinny and I figured my appetite was huge and I would constantly just eat, 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 and it would not really show up or just sort of disappear. And now I don't do that at all. I can't um, because if I overeat, I feel pain pretty immediately. So yeah, I still eat carbs, but I am eating way less sugary stuff and less carbs and no booze whatsoever. Um, and then bathroom habits, so far so good. Everything's pretty regular. Um, I have my moments, but uh, now I, I luckily have have uh, a nice little suite of jokes that I can tell people related to IBD and Crohn's and uh, I can like try to prod them into you know making fun of me and then I can make them feel really bad for making fun of me by saying I have a disease damn you and uh, and then it all works out okay but so far so good uh, bathroom is is you know my constant companion uh, but now like I said I have a fun story to sort of relate to that and that's it. That is all the questions that we received uh, the first round. And stick around. I'm sure CCFA is going to be doing a whole lot more of these videos and hopefully more with me. And shoot any questions you have to the CCFA's Facebook or Twitter account. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks.